I'm excited because I think there is so much happening at the grassroots level. People do want change, but at the same time, there's a huge amount of potential for us to default back to that which is familiar, simply because of the depth of this crisis. Yes, there is this big difficulty. How do we get through the storm to the horizon? Businesses are on their knees right now, and we have to respect the fact that people need to just get standing up next and then they can be a little bit broader in their thinking afterwards. How do they begin the process of shifting their economies that may not be so self-sufficient back to a more self-sufficient model? And what they start to do first, and I think it is what you need to start to do first, is think about basic needs and uh, think about bringing them back onto the island and not be so dependent on imports. Be as self-sufficient as you can. I'm thinking particularly of somewhere like Mallorca that is hugely dependent on tourism, but that has been building small regenerative projects for more than a decade. Food can be a really good way to build the big bridge that we need between natural systems and human systems. Whether you're a region in Sussex or whether you're an island, a regenerative future is one where you have developed that capacity to flourish in the area that you're in, in harmony with the natural world.